This episode of Philly Fame TV is sponsored by Top Dog Law. Now y'all already know who to call for any accidents or injury cases. If you want that top dollar, you better get that top dog. You can hit him up on Instagram at Top Dog Law or visit his website www.topdoglaw.com. This your boy, this, this your boy, Notorious Kenny Me, man. You know, I'm back again live on Philly Fan TV, man. You know, for the third time, man. Y'all know I'll be coming and shit, man. Every time I do my interviews, man, I start with show, man. I start with Philly Fan TV first, man. Y'all know how we rock, man. Well, listen, how the Notorious Kenny Me. Early, early. All right, yeah, so we, we, we fresh off the trial and all that. You know, the verdict came down. They get they hit you with the sentence and all that, you know what I mean? And it, and it went super viral. I mean, like, out of, out of nowhere, you went crazy viral with the news. Like, everybody was posting it. Like, man, you was just talking, like, DJ Academics, Vlad TV, Say Chi. Like, all the big hip-hop blogs covered it. So, like, so off top, bro, like, what you want, uh, how, how you feel about that? Like, once the once the verdict came down and, and now you all on the, all the blogs and all that, like, how you feel about that? You know, you know, one thing for sure, two things for certain and shit. You know, the same outcome... Like, if outcome was different, and I'd have got, like, found out not guilty, it would have been the same way. You understand what I'm saying? They know they know who is who, and they, they, they know who I am, and they know that I'm the fullest and hottest. That's why I was everywhere. That's why I went viral the way I went viral. That's the second time me going viral. You know what I'm saying? I went viral coming in. You know what I mean? I went viral and get my verdict, even though it was a negative verdict. You, you understand what I'm saying? Even though it was like, already gave y'all, they gave me life plus... 25 to 50 years, you dig what I'm saying? But like, like I said, I don't cry over spilt milk. You dig what I'm saying? So like my head high, my chin up. I'm just, I'm just preparing myself for round two. But like, like my whole thing, like I don't be surprised like when certain shit, when certain shit happens. That's like if a man now is like fuck my leg, the day of tomorrow, I won't be surprised because I know that I deserve it. I deserve to get like, I deserve to get like all that. You know what I mean? All that love, all this and all that. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it's fucked up. It had to be, like, on some, like, oh, shit. Like, sure, they got um, life plus 25 to 50 years, and then the motherfucker show me love. I don't look at it like, oh, shit. It's like, it's a bad thing everybody show me love. It's a good thing everybody show me love. Because, like, how do you look at it? I'm still getting recognized. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like good. And it's like, actually going to leave back. The motherfucker going to go back and leave backstory on me and shit. Pete down the real estate how this nigga. In our city, right? And uh, fucking uh, so you know, like we was talking a little bit before, you know, we started recording and all that. And like I told told you, your folks had reached out and kind of gave me, you know, a little bit of the rundown of how the trial went, you know, how it went. So I want you to get the people from your perspective, like you know, how how it went, what why it went the way it went. It like you know, we had a good fight. You know what I'm saying, like. We had a good fight, but it was like, it was like real political, you dig what I'm saying? Like, it was real political, like real, real political. Like, I'm talking about like real political. It was like a lot of precise, it was a lot of pressure on the judge, like, feds there for no fucking reason. So fucking yeah, 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 that part, that, that part, this is state, this is a state case. And this, and it's a state case. You but you had federal real. agents coming in and out the court and all that. They be coming in, in and out the And that's not, for people that's not familiar, like that's not normal. Like for a oh, state case, ain't no federal agents involved in that at all. You want to you want peep the whole twist. When the feds got up there and took the stand on me, no fed can ID me. Nobody from the feds can ID and say, "Oh, that's skinny in there. That's skinny in this video." And on top of that, they got surveillance set up on a block. Whole time, it's seventeen minutes of the footage is like deleted out the John. You dig what I'm saying? Like my whole John is. With a 17, what is that? You understand what I'm saying? Like, they had something like, it was like a, it was, it was political, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was real, it was real political. Like, if I wasn't like this rapper, if I had a little rat wave or had friends I had and shit, this wouldn't, this wouldn't have been my outcome. You understand what I'm saying? If I was like a little regular nigga and shit like that, I'd have easy spanked the case, you dig what I'm saying? Like, but it was like real political, you know what I mean? Like, they used my raps, they used my little rap image. They did, they did all that. Like, so they, they, they did, so they basically really like, because from what, from what folks told me, he said, um, they didn't have a witness, an actual witness at the trial. Was that the case? 
They ain't had no witness at the trial. So P game. They ain't have no witness to testify against you. They ain't have no witness that testified against me. All right, look. I'm gonna be before I get into the star witness. We got a witness that pulled the bin. Like he's a civilian. He's a person that's licensed to carry a gun. He's a security guard. He gave his statements eight minutes after the murder that they talking about happened. They, eight minutes after the murder that happened that they's talking about, he give the cops that arrived on the scene a statement. He say, "I seen the shooter. The shooter was a hundred and eighty pounds, dark skin. One hundred and eighty pounds, dark skin." You see, the shooter was 180 pounds, dark skin. So he basically said, I seen him. I seen what he looked like. He said, I seen him. People, he say, he said, I seen the shooter was 180 pounds, dark skin. Everybody know notorious skinny me, Biggie with the weight off, ain't 180 pounds. I've never been 180 pounds. And you, you definitely ain't dark skin. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely ain't, I'm definitely ain't dark skin. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? I, I love you more. I'm on, I'm on the interview. I'm on the interview right fast. I got you, big boy. So I ain't for one. I'm not 180 pounds. I'm not dark skin. You want you understand what I'm saying? Now he see the shooter's wearing a white shirt. He see the shooter jumps into a car alone by himself, pulls off. This is this is civilian. This is somebody that's a likes of the carry. This is somebody that a guard that don't know you. That have no. That, mo- I mean that you don't know him. He don't know you. So he ain't got no reason to lie on your behalf. He ain't, he ain't had no motive to lie. He told the honest truth. You understand what I'm saying? He knew what he saw. And so now, speed up to the star witness. Let's play something about my star witness. My star witness, he never preferred to me as a name. He called me the light skin boy. You understand what I'm saying? So he don't my know star, you either. My star witness don't know me. You understand what I'm saying? But he, he my star witness is a person that was in jail. You know what I'm saying? And... From jail, homicide, go get him from jail, take him to a from race city, man, and for his own little motive and little benefits from it, his gains from it, he chose to say that I killed somebody, but he don't even use my name. He don't call me by skinny me. He don't call me the goat. He don't call me Biggie with the weight off. He don't call me none of these names. The person I call me none of these names. But I'm gonna break it down to how he got to me, and I know this how he got to me. It's a detective that claimed he known me since I was six years old. Like how you? Wow. Me? For one, you say you knew me for since I was six years old. What my detective did before I get back to the star witness, what my detective did wrong? He never felt no. They ain't even they ain't what he did wrong. If you knew somebody for that long of a period of time. You would have documented that on something called an activity sheet or a police database or whatever. You never documented how long you even knew me. Better yet, you were the first person with all the surveillance contained in this case. You dig what I'm saying? You never wrote down on who you believe that person is in those videos. You claim to know me. You get on the stand and say you know me for 10 years. You know me by mannerism. Oh, I can't see his face, but I'm going to say that's skinny by mannerism. That's bullshit, man. So he's and, saying he can identify you by mannerism because your face was unidentifiable. Now, P. Game, <laughs> you come to court three years, four years later and say that. But when you first had this surveillance, before you found you a witness, you had nothing changed about the footage. What changed about the footage to where, though, you didn't write down who you believe it is on your activity sheets. Oh, so he didn't say he thought it was you at first. It was after the fact. For, for years later. Damn, so he said three, four years, years later, later, then he said now, that. Wow. Now he all of a sudden he's saying, my whole thing, when they asked me, yo, did you, did you write that down anywhere? Did you document that down anywhere? He That, that detective watched that shit with the rest of the fucking homicide division. And nobody in the homicide division can say that's me in any of that surveillance. Nobody. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody. You don't forget nobody mannerism if you've known them for 10 years. You, you understand what I'm saying? My whole thing is, my, this cop never chased me before. He never locked me up before. He never talked to me before. So you don't know him? I don't know him. His whole thing is just like, 
this little back trash trying to say he know me from this and know me from that. Know me from this. I'm a top player from 29th Street. I'm the head of 20. I'm the head chief of 29th and Jackson. Oh, so he just popped his shit. He don't even really know what he's talking about. He don't even know what he's talking about. You understand what I'm saying? My whole joint is, what I also know is he found a cell phone. But people, how he make me the suspect? Did because it was pictures of me and a phone. I know he showed it to his witness. You understand what I'm saying? Right. He should, like, you find the phone and it got pictures of me and the phone. I know he, you had that phone the same day of the situation we're talking about. I know he showed that to his witness. That witness don't know me. That witness say he never seen me a day in his life. And he a person that was born in 91. So he's 30 years old. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying on no cocky shit, but I got a rat wave in our city. We talking about a broad daytime murder that they accusing me of. How do I got one witness? You understand what I'm saying? Right. How is one person saying they seen me kill somebody? We talking broad daylight. I'm they accusing me of a broad daylight murder. You understand what I'm saying? Right. You got one. You got one person saying they witnessed me murder somebody. And it's all footage, and you saying they still and they couldn't even identify you on the footage. They couldn't I listen? It's so crazy. The star witness said the shooter had a black hoodie on and a pair of jeans. Another person said the shooter was wearing a white t-shirt, 180 pounds, dark skin. This surveillance that they trying to say that I, I'm supposed to be on is a person wearing a fucking hat to the front and a short sleeve dicky shirt, uh, like a dicky outfit. So they don't even match the right, the right description for the outfit they had right, on. <laughs> like right, three, that's three different jewels. All right, then. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all saying that this is me with the dicky and the hat on so when did I have time to change my clothes and put some jeans on and a black hoodie? Crazy. You understand what I'm saying? But so the main shit they really used for real, for real, was the rap shit. The rap. My raps. But now let 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 let, 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 let bring let bring it back. It's some shit called a rule five hundred, where my witness got shot. They tried to tie me to this witness. Me and this witness don't know each other. Show. I don't never seen this kid a day in my life. He don't know me. He said he never seen me a day in his life. He don't know me. He gets shot. They try to tie me to the shooting. What they do is they have a they have a, a rule five hundred. It's a, it's, a, it's something that they put in where my lawyer gonna get a chance to cross examine it, but it won't be somebody getting there that's videotaping the whole hammering. You understand what I'm saying? Right. They only allowed to use this if the witness was to die. Show. Wow. It's like a guy in decoration. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. So if something was the headman song before the trial, then they used that. My witness ain't died, yo. A police officer named Richard Reddick took the stand and said, my trial started October 17th. Richard Reddick took the stand. He, October 21st, he the person, he the cop that went out and looked for the show. He said from October 21st, to October 13th, that was 10 days. He looking for that boy for 10 days. Show. Guess where my fucking witness was at, show? In jail. <laughs> in jail. October 19th. He's been in jail since October 19th. Crazy. He's got 150,000, show. So he was they locked up the whole time and they didn't go get him for court. They ain't want to go get him. Because they knew that he was going to tell the truth. So he was going to retract that statement, basically. He was going to tell the truth and they ain't give him a chance to. They don't know what he was going to say. They just you know were scared, so they just played the statement that he already made. And, and that's it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I follow what, what you're saying. Like, the shit was political. My whole thing, how did y'all know this dude was in jail? Huh? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I, ain't, I can't lie. I ain't crying over stuff. No, I just got to get geared up and ready for um for round two of this fight, though. Yo, you know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, but now, they get to the raps. Y'all play my raps. They just what they say in my raps. They say, every time... Skinny me is preferring to Medusa. He's talking about a drug here, the individual. Because my victim had drugs. How y'all get that out of that? Wow. So they just could... You know, that's crazy. So they just said that that's what that automatically means, right? He said, when he say, I take your head, Medusa, he's preferring to kill a drug here, the individual. Wow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy and from what another thing from what bro said too and you could kind of uh, 
clarify this too. And I mean, one thing Bruce told me was like, he basically was like comparing your situation kind of like to your brother B.I. And that's the whole thing. They rare about it, y'all. They knew y'all was powerful. You know what I'm saying? So, so do you see the similar? Do you see similarities in what happened with you and what happened with him? And if so, like explain that a little bit. It's, a, it's identical. You think what I'm saying? Like it's, it's an identical twin situation. You 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 understand what I'm saying? Two niggas, like my bloodline in my neighborhood, man. My blood, we is uh, my neighborhood. We is twenty ninth and Jefferson. You know what I'm saying? My bloodline is twenty ninth and Jefferson. You understand what I'm saying? Like we from Hollywood and Jefferson. My bloodline is that. You know what I'm saying? Like my brother back, my brother back was in there getting money. You understand what I'm saying? Brother back and kill it. Who who they saying he killed? And from what I understand, like, I think you even told me this, the, the boy that he was accused of killing wasn't even, like, an op or nothing. Like, he was, like, one of y'all folks. He's one of our folks. You understand what I'm saying? And it's, like, the same shit, man. Right, like, this is a person that you actually was all right with. Exactly. Now, my whole thing is, bro, when you got power, and it's not even negative power, when you got positive power, they don't want to see what you can do because they already know what you can do. You understand what I'm saying? Bro, they pulled these strings on me. You understand what I'm saying? To where they're like, they cage me in. I won't even, I'm not even convincing myself that I got to do forever in the day, forever, forever in the day in this genre. Like, at the end of the day. Got the best of pill lawyer. You, dig, you understand what I'm saying? Like, like, it, like I just told my folks, it'd be a problem if we was niggas that if we was fucked up. If we ain't have no bread and we ain't had this and we ain't had that, if that'd have been a problem. But, like, nah, like, my support system, my family, they're going to buy the best shovels to dig me out of this shit. You understand what I'm saying? Not like, right. they fucked up. You understand, you understand what I'm saying? And we just, like, we just all over it. You dig what I'm saying? Like, we all over it at the end of the day. They seen this shit. Like, even when them jurors went back home after they read... I was guilty of uh, every fucking charge there was. I know they went back home. They couldn't duck it. They go on Instagram. They go on the social media. They to see me. They ran like, damn. My jurors asked to see three pieces of evidence. They asked to see a picture of the address. My mug shot, which nobody never signed my mug shot. And a picture of, and a video of the sup the bus. The sup the bus show a, a silhouette. That's how the video on the the bus looked at a silhouette. You couldn't see nothing. So you ain't even really see nothing for real. You just saw like a shadow basically down there. That's it. That's it, bro. Shit you not, bro. So they really didn't really have nothing on you for real. Uh-uh. It was political. It was political. It was real political. So they ain't like, say like, yo, we got your, his friend. You ain't had no, did they have a weapon? Murder weapon? Nothing? No, no murder weapon. No murder weapon. They ain't have no, they ain't run ballistics on nothing. No wow. ballistics, none, none of my DNA came back on nothing. So that's basically why you're saying, like, because for rappers, because a lot of rappers in the city who had them kind of cases, they all had issues with how, how it got handled. That's it. So you I'm basically, like, if you weren't a rapper, they, you probably would have no, spanked no, the fuck out. Let, let, let me explain something to you. One, two, three, four. Four niggas went down there to trial. And four, the same day I fought, right? Right. Out of those four people, you the only one that was? Probably, no, probably me and somebody else had paid attorneys. Oh, all right, all right. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody else had court appointees and public defenders, and they beat their murders, right? With public defenders, bro? Wow. And they beat their murders. Well, why he? They beat their murders, man. Wow. They beat their murders. I'm the only one lost my murder. And wow. I paid top dollar for my lawyer, man. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I paid top dollar for my lawyer. I'm the only one lost, man. That's crazy. I'm the only one lost. That, that shit was political. I'm telling you, in the middle of the trial, they try to say, yo, man, we got 30 to 60 for you. No. So they try to get your offer in the middle of the trial. Yeah, no. <sighs> let's, let's, let's go. How did they let you get convicted on this weak ass case, bro? This shit crazy. So I, I so but you got strong, you got strong issues for a pill, though. And I mean, based on yeah. everything that I heard, like you got some I'm strong issues. About, I got strong, I got strong issues, like a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like they sat there and played my rap videos. I told you my rap video. That shit gave me the chills. Cause I'm like, damn, I'm sitting there with a kufi on, some glasses, 
a, a suit on, like, you know, tie and all that cool shit. And when they play my videos, like, mind you, sometimes you like, you got, you got Bruce Wayne and you got Batman, you got Peter Parker and you got Spider-Man. You got my government name, then you got Skinny Me. You understand what I'm saying? All right. So it's like, when they seen the Skinny Me character, they're like, oh, shit. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, oh, shit. You, you, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, they see me popping my shit. They see me talking like some violent shit or the most brutal shit. And I'm just like entertaining them. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I'm just entertaining. You dig what I'm saying? But like, they use that against me to hurt me. You dig what I'm saying? Well, at least they thought they, at least they think they hurt me. At least they thought they hurt me because I, they like, my head out, my chin up, my chest poked out. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I got this rare attitude where it's like, I'm really unbothered. You know what I mean? Like I said, I prepared myself for this shit. You know what I'm saying? I prepared myself for it. Like, when I seen it was coming with the railroad, I heard the railroad train. Choo, 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 choo. Mm -hmm. I heard that shit. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So my whole thing is, like, shit was political, man. And at the end of the day, like, I ain't sweat, I ain't cry, I ain't shit no tear about none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna shit no tear about none of this shit. You dig what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I just know it's round two. It's round two. You dig what I'm saying? Like, it's just round two. Mm -hmm. And another thing, so, this is how crazy it was from start to end. I had like 70 people there, 70 to 50 people there. Like, my, the victim only had like three people there on his behalf. I had 70 to 50 people there, right? They cut that down and made me handpick 20 motherfuckers to stay in the courtroom with me. I turned around and say, look, 15 girls and five of the guys. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Boom. 142 happened. It was it was a break at 142. Jury selection number 10. He come back for one. The jury don't even put me don't even put don't even put to be around my family. You understand what I'm saying? Right. The jury come back and say, yeah, I was on the elevator, down with the red on um, the red terminal with I'm, I'm behind his um his family members, and I heard them say they gonna stalk the judge. They gonna stalk oh the my judge. God. Wow. The judge. Bro, they said he heard jury number 10. Said he heard. Somebody from my family say they gonna stalk the judge and murder the judge because the judge making the lawyer look stupid. Wow. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody say no shit like that. If it was, why y'all ain't bring that jury nigga back and let him say what he say? He just say he can identify, he say he can identify who said it. Then the next day I come to court, you got three names on the list. You got both of my cousin's name on the list and you got my step pop name on the list. So they can't even come in now. Now my whole joint, that ain't not from 20. They say only get allowed 10 niggas, to, 10 people to come. You understand what I'm saying? That's so from the, very, so from the very beginning, it's playing games. You ain't stand a chance, bro. I ain't stand a chance against them. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? No, I it's get it. Games. This is like everything I heard. Like, bro, like your folks reached out. Like, I think he said his name was Mirror, right? Shout out to bro. Exactly. Like, Exactly. Yeah, he took my I man based on what he told me before and the stuff that you telling me is like you ain't have a, a chance. Like they was gonna do what they was gonna do regardless. They hold exactly, you know what I mean, like 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 the judge he ain't respecting none of my objections. He ain't respecting none of them Jones. And it's crazy. Four years prior to this shit, man, me and the judge had words with each other and all I told him show was like I'm like I gotta think what's speaking my mind. Whether you a judge, whether you whoever, I'm gonna speak my mind. So they saying this this ultimately was some rap shit. A rap beef. <laughs> That's what they bro. said? Yeah. 
Wow. Uh, they, they, they theory was it was a rap beat, and, but they have no rap music to complete their theory. So they said somebody dissed you in a rap, but they didn't play the diss song? They said somebody dissed me in a rap, and somebody got murdered because they dissed me. But did they play a diss song? Saying the, this no, is, they, no, they didn't play nobody's song at all. So they, they just said it happened, but they didn't have no proof yeah, that it happened. It ain't no proof. It ain't what, that ain't what happened. You dig what I'm saying? That never was the case. The theory was it was a rat beef. The whole theory was it was a rat beef. The whole theory was it was a rat beef. A rapper this skinny and skinny killed me. <laughs> they crazy and shit, man. So that was a theory. But that was a theory. I don't know where they got this theory from. I don't know how they killed But they didn't have no evidence to back it. They just they had no they had no evidence to back that at all wow. at all at all and my whole thing is like that's the number one trend right now motherfuckers rap beefing and all that Do, you understand what I'm saying right. I'm chasing down Tommy you know what I'm saying I'm saying oh I'm chasing down Lawrence you know what I'm saying like I ain't no come on man come on man like that ain't even my job like I ain't got rap beef with nobody you know what I'm saying. Like, I ain't get my rap buzz off there. I ain't get my rap wave off rap music with nobody. You dig what I'm saying? And then they, like, people fuck with me. They fuck with me. They into me. They into me. They fuck with my music. I just make good music. I make records anthems. It ain't no diss rap. It ain't no diss rap. You, you understand what I'm saying? Right. But, and it's before, like, that's just the crazy part because, like, as I sit down and think about it, mind you, this shit, but this shit, I got, this shit pulled up in some shit that happened in 2017, a murder from 2017 or whatever, 16, 17, I don't fucking know. Cause I ain't murder a motherfucker, but my whole, my whole, my whole joint is like, alright, this is quote unquote the theory that is a rat beef. It's just like, didn't, y'all trying to say this is a fucking rat beef. Now, after I get booked for quote unquote killing somebody over a fucking rat beef, which I ain't do, now, it's like the most popular thing to do now. They kill a motherfucker over a rat beef. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Like, you ain't on it if you don't kill a nigga that's dissing you. You, 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 understand, you understand what I'm saying? Right. But it's fucked up because they started with me trying to make, the, trying to make, this, make this into the new trend example. You understand what I'm saying? Right. If we quote unquote think that you beefing with a rapper or a rap dissing with somebody, that, bro, there's no rap dissing, bro. Ain't I don't rap this, bro. All my music is out on YouTube, bro. I don't rap this, bro. Nobody rap this with me, because nobody would play with me like that, bro. You understand what I'm saying? Word. Like, what? That's what they did, bro. That was their theory, man. That's crazy, bro. Like, that's crazy, man. Like, but like you said, like, I mean, you, you, you already in the process of getting it started for round two, you know what I mean? And also... You ain't the first person that been through it, I mean, like far as like a rapper from the city that been in a situation like this. I mean, that ended up bouncing out and coming home. I'll be back. I mean, so it's, I mean, like, I don't know what it is in the city, but a lot of rappers, they get locked up for these kind of cases, bro. Like, they don't, it's like they don't get a fair shake. Like, no, from what bro. I've been hearing, like, I mean, from I'm what I've been bro. hearing, like, they ain't been getting a fair shake, bro. That's why some niggas, I mean, had to sit and get their shit overturned after a while, like. Cause they whole thing is, bro, they want you to be like, like, I never was regular, so how can you make me out to be regular? You, you understand what I'm saying? Right. And that's the whole job. Like, like I said, man, if I was a nigga, if I was a, if I was a nameless nigga, a nigga with no name, bro, I would have spanked the case, bro. You understand what I'm saying, bro? Right. They whole thing is, you see how that shit just happened? I get found guilty. You give me life plus 25 to 50. I'm everywhere. It was going to be the same exact thing if I'd have spanked this shit. If I'd have beat this murder case, I'd have been able. I'd have been on academic, been on say cheese. You always supported Police Ain't TV. always supported me. I'd have been on Philly Billboard. I'd have been over here. 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 You understand what I'm, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's like my whole thing is everybody knew I had potential. Everybody knew I got potential. Everybody. Wherever they want to acknowledge the don't acknowledge it. You understand what I'm saying? So my whole joint is just like, man, if I was regular, if I was basic cable, I mean, I, I'd have my freedom right now. But the whole thing is, they see that I got power. I got positive power. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't want me to lead the way. 
They want me to be. They want me to be the godfather to them young boys, man. And my whole thing, I'm probably the only nigga that can get a message through the young niggas, man. I'm the only nigga that the young boys that the young niggas can what, what, what listen to. You know what I'm saying? And just follow my lead and all that shit. And I ain't trying to leave nobody down the road, like just to just to hang they self or lynch they self. You know what I'm saying? That they ain't my job. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm coaching these young boys as if they was my kids or as if they was my nephews. I don't tell young boys to go and strap bombs to each other and blow it the fuck up. I ain't on that. I want not want to tell my son that or tell my nephew to do, do, do some shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Right. No, thanks. Thanks, bro. You know? So basically, you you the perfect nigga, especially with, with what you just went through to let these young boys know. And that's why I, I want you to let them know. And I mean, we could end it off on this note. I mean, let them know, like, how these people ain't playing fair, basically, like, you in the situation when, and like we was talking about with your brother B, I same situation. I mean, like, so let the young boys know, like, as far as like that's in the streets and all that. Like, these people ain't. I mean, they 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 playing dirty. So even if you you did you wasn't in the situation, you can still get caught up in something based on how they playing. It's, it's, like, it's like it's like this. We in Philly, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to get out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we motherfuckers only going do but so much can and can, only can do but so much you understand what i'm saying so like i understand hey, we all rap about the same shit we all narrate on violence remember we in the life or not about the life the whole thing is like it's the hangers you, you know what i'm saying this is the whole thing is the hangers like you could rap violent and ain't gonna hurt a motherfucker ain't gonna, ain't gonna hurt a soul but the whole thing is they're gonna be out to get you because that's how they're trying to paint it you know what i'm saying they're not looking at it like it's art they ain't trying to lock no conscious rapper up. They wouldn't dare try to go lock. And no disrespect to nobody, but they not trying to go lock no cores up. They ain't trying to go lock like. They ain't whining about a motherfucker like that, to be honest. And I don't take nothing from Shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying I like his music and all that. But like, he reminds me like of a J. Cole type of rap. They not whining about J. Cole. Mm-hmm. They ain't whining about Kendrick Lamar. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? But they worry about the Lord babies, the Lord dirts, the Chief Keys. You understand what I'm saying? They worry about dudes who's rapping that certain kind of rap. You understand? My whole thing is, if you ain't got no like, if you rap about money, you gotta show money. Violence the easiest thing to narrate and rap about because it's nothing you really gotta show. Right. But gun, but but guns or gun adjusters or prop guns and cap guns and fake guns and fake blood and shit like that. Just to try to get somewhere in life, just to try to make some money off, just to try to make some money in life off this shit. You understand what I'm saying? But my whole job, man, they gonna use these raps to paint you like you Hitler. Yeah, you know I mean, they gonna use these raps to paint you like, like you just like this monster. And that's not your whole aim. Your whole aim is like, yo, I'm trying to make it the fuck out of here. Yeah, you know I mean, only could make it out of here by narrowing and violence. Cause this was going on around the world. Cut on the radio. Everybody talking about. Shooting niggas the fuck down. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Right. But it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a flip side of the coin. Everybody that talk about it is everybody they want to get life to. I mean, they gave me they gave me life plus 25 to 50 years for a murder and conspiracy. I got no code defenders on my case. So they gave you, cons- that's another thing we ain't touch on. They gave you conspiracy, but you don't have no code defenders. I don't have no co-defendants at all on my case. They gave me a 20 to 40 for the conspiracy, a life for the murder. And they gave me about like five, one and a half to five. So that equal up to 25 to 50 years. I ain't got no co-defendants, man. I ain't got not one co-defendant. Who the fuck I conspired with? That's crazy, bro. Like, like, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, how they just, like, railroad the, hell, the whole joint and shit with political, man. That judge sit there and had them feds looking at him and the feds looking at this judge. This judge looking at the feds and the feds. Like, nigga, you better do something. Crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't believe the jury was regular people. I really don't. I don't believe it was people that, like, like they, was my, they wasn't my peers. They weren't, they, were, they, they weren't regular people. To me, they were, they was like, to me, they was cops or it was something other than regular people. Like, yo, because my whole job, how did y'all see through that bullshit, man? Right. How did you ain't see through that bullshit, man? Like, 
they got me, but like I said, I ain't crying over spilled milk, man. And then they like, my whole thing is, I'm gearing up for round two. I'm gonna go back and fight them. You dig what I'm saying? Until then, like I'm still going to get a city of hope. Like at the end of the day, nobody's going to see Notorious skinny me with his head down. Like I don't bitch and I don't complain. You dig what I'm saying? My whole joint is, I'm blessed, I'm not bitter. You dig what I'm saying? Like right. at the end of the day, I got a beautiful support system. And like, we gonna carry this shit. That's just how I gotta go. Until then, until, 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 until I return, and once I return, I mean, y'all gonna feel me through Fadi Goon. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all gonna feel me through Fadi Goon. Feel me through Giz Liddy. Feel, feel me through Benji 5600, which, which is my other nephew. Mm-hmm. Feel me through my that man Gotti. Yeah, you know I mean, they gonna fill me through my my Lord nephew Lord Chucky. They gonna fill me through niggas like Leaf Ward. They gonna fill me through niggas like N H. You know what I'm saying it just they gonna fill me through Lord Yizzy Raw. It's just so many people they gonna fill me through. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like they gonna fill me through Mary Two Twenty. My whole thing is like that's like my that's my empire. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, you definitely. That's good. That's that's funny that you because you definitely. Connected to a lot, I mean, rappers in the city, a lot of rappers in the city definitely speak highly of you, I mean, they, fuck they, with you. They, they love me, and I, and I love them too, you dig what I'm saying? Like, they love me, I love them too, man, because my whole thing is like, I'm giving, I'm giving them that rare game. Like, I'm not trying to set them up the rule or tell them something negative and none of that shit. Like, I'm giving them that, that rare game, like, oh, man, like, we ain't thorough, we ain't real, we rare. There's only a few of us, there's a lot of thorough niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm rare because I stand on anything a real nigga ain't stand on and then don't stand on. You understand what I'm saying? That's what make me rare. So it's like, it definitely, it definitely a two. It's real and it's rare. Real niggas don't do what, real niggas don't do what rare niggas do. Real niggas lack somewhere and a, and a rare nigga don't. You understand what I'm saying? A rare nigga don't lack at the shit that a real nigga lack at. You know what I'm saying? Cause a real nigga do fuck shit. You understand what I'm saying? A real nigga do Next shit, a real nigga do shiesty shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? And like mm-hmm. I told niggas, like I told the young boy before I left off the block, I said, listen, it's never a good nigga trying to act bad. It's always bad niggas trying to act good. That's why we be confused. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you give a nigga a chance and he sneak you, it's because he already was bad, but he was acting good. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna give him a chance because he acting somewhat good. Man, I'm just a good nigga, man. Good niggas don't act bad, man. And then they can say whatever they want to say, whatever kind of thoughts they got of me or whatever kind of theory they got of me. And if they want me, they can't take me, they can't take the good nigga out of me. You understand what I'm saying? I'm rare, man. I'm rare. Yeah, I, I, just, I, just have, I just happen to rap. You know what I'm saying? And it comes to this, it comes to time where it's just like, it's different now. You dig what I'm saying? It's different now. Like, they don't, under, I guess they don't understand it. Even if they do understand it, the whole thing is they don't want niggas with power, man. They don't. They don't want niggas with power, with positive power, where they're like, I can lead, man. I can carry a village. You understand what I'm saying? I could carry a village. I really could carry a village, man. And it's no, like, shout out to everybody that, like, motivate me. Like, Ines hit me up the day. Ines hit me up the day and shit, gave me some encouraging words yeah, and shit like Ness. that. Yeah, I mean, shout out to Ines, man. And I told you from the gun bus, like, man, Ines a legend, man. And then they like, shout out to Ines, man. I was shooting the shit with Lord Livy and shit. Lord Livy hit me up and shit to date, man. Follow me on the ground. I mean, shout out to Young. He doing this thing out here. No, fuck no, no, he Liv- fuck with Polo G and shit. Yeah, I see Livy, 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 Livy heavy, man. And he ain't on Hollywood shit, so they ain't really owe me nothing. So yeah, you still, you, ta- you tapped in with, the, with all the young boys no, that's lit right now. Like. I love all the young boys, man. And, that, and, that, and, 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 that, and that's what everybody know. Like, yeah, and, that, and they gonna like, keep you alive out here. I mean, keep your I name look, alive. I look, I look just like them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. The my whole thing is like, I was gonna be down with all the young niggas. And all the young niggas was gonna be down with me. You dig what I'm saying? Like, and it's just like, um, somebody else, somebody else was giving me some encouraging words and all that shit. But I tell everybody, like, I'm st- I'm ten tools, man. Like, at the end of the day, man, I'm, t- I'm ten Yeah, we seen that, man. I seen you posted that on the grand. Basically, all the shit you've been saying. I mean, you seen the Instagram? Well, somebody posted it for you. I mean, the Instagram post basically letting them know, like, I mean, you stay, you ten toes down, chin up, chest out. I mean, you were ready for round two, basically. You know what I mean, like, yeah, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's how I'm coming, man. I got this rare attitude, man. Where though, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm I'm unbothered, man. Some motherfuckers going to shell and be depressing when they hang it the fuck up. That's not skinny me, man. 
That's nothing at all. And they, like I said, if I was a person that was fucked up, ain't had no support system, ain't had no money, and trying to figure out what's going on, trying to rub my toes together to make a quarter or make a coin, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going through that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, even when I first walked in here, I had my own money. I had my own money. You know what I'm saying? I had my own money. You know what I'm saying? I had my own money. You know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers was counting me out. Like, oh, shit. Like, brrr, I'm thinking that, oh, shorty might live this kind of lifestyle and don't have it and all that. Like, motherfuckers, like, you know, niggas going to look down on you because they think they better than you are. When your motherfuckers don't, don't know your business, they going to think you fucked up. But I never was fucked up. I was, it was a time I was, I was fucked up. But when I came to the situation I, I got caught up for, I wasn't fucked up. You, you understand what I'm saying? I, right. I own my own towns and all that shit. I got all that. I got access to money. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm cool all around the board. I'm cool. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like that. I just want like the guys to be cool. Like my guys was hurt, man. And I got to be strong for my guys because I ain't cry about it yet. But all my guys cried about it. You know what I mean, Giz Liddy, he one of the hottest motherfuckers in North Philly right now. Like he's up and coming. He just couldn't. He just can't. I like, can't get his shot. Like. It's like, it's like motherfuckers don't actually sing, but his music is like Greek, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he might be like, my dog, like, held me down the whole ride. My dog was, like, heartbroken and shit. I'm telling my dog, like, look, man, like, we don't cry over this, man. The only thing we crying about is deaths and joyful moments. Other than that, we not crying about this shit right here. At the end of the day, I was prepared for it. I seen what was happening. We all seen what happened. You know what I mean? Like, they knew what they did, man. Like, they had no evidence. with no evidence stacked against me, man. It was none. Y'all had a boy. They had a bullshit-ass theory where they couldn't prove nobody dissing me. They couldn't come up and play, oh, this this Johnny from up the street dissing skinny me right here. And he's saying, fuck skinny. They couldn't do that. You you understand what I'm saying? Like, it was political, man. It was really was political. Like, yeah, that's world, crazy. World, it was like you like, said, bro, you, you, you mean? Like, it ain't over with, so... <laughs> They touch up on, it's crazy, they used to talk talking about ARI in the jaw, like, this shit was political, you understand what I'm saying, he ain't get caught, he ain't get caught with nothing. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought it up, this is something I want to ask you, because this, this is one thing that a lot of people was talking about, once the verdict came down, you know, a lot of people was posting old clips with Ed, where Ed was talking and shit like that, did they bring up anything with Ed, the, 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 the use against you in court? No, they ain't. I'm good. I, I just wanted. They, I just wanted you to clear that up. They ain't. They ain't bring nothing up. I'm just wanted you to clear because a lot of people are in that was basically I, I, like blaming Ab and saying Ab. Yeah, exactly, I see exactly what's going on. Ab ain't the reason or nothing. You understand what I'm saying? When Ab promoting me being a violent person, we got web series. And I can get show all the clips of our web series that didn't come out when me and A.R. Ab is actually going to war with each other in this web series called The City Is Ours. And we like having bro a day show. Oh yeah, I know about that. I know, yeah, it never came out. I definitely know about that you, 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 you understand what I'm yeah. saying? Like my whole joint is when Ab speaking violent about me, he's only painting my web, he only making my web series character come alive, man. That's what niggas didn't never understand. We all we was shooting a big ass web series, a big ass joint. We got multiple clips and all that shit on YouTube. We got clips that motherfuckers had never seen. But when he went ass go viral about anybody, it was him just bringing the web series characters alive. That's all it was. Y'all taking it the way y'all taking it, thinking this nigga is talking about some real life shit. Damn, what's going on? Right. Damn, what's going on? He's promoting, he's making this shit so anticipated. You know what I'm saying that y'all like y'all is buying into the Lord Johnny character, the skinny me character, y'all is just like buying into this shit, this, this shit he's talking the whole time. We got y'all fooled. We got a backstory to it. We about to drop we about to drop a whole bomb, a whole web series. Where it is violent. So what we gotta do is to build the build the, the build the anticipation up. We gotta sit here and talk. About shit, you know what I'm saying? We gonna build skinny character, we gonna build ab character, we gonna build whole time we about to give y'all a whole motherfucking web series. We bring all the web series people alive. That's all it was. So it wasn't like when he's talking, he's not talking about real life events. It's never him talking about real life events. It's like because if because if he was, they probably more than likely definitely would have used that shit in court. Right? <laughs> if they was if they gonna use your rap and they gonna use all this other shit, right. they gonna what use that. Think? The only thing they used against me was a federal, try to say that 
it was it was federal surveillance on ARM block and the federal surveillance supposedly had me on there but when the feds watched that fucking federal poll day surveillance a fed could not identify me as anybody on that surveillance mm. you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. the feds cannot say oh that's skinny me right there not one of the feds a homicide detective got up there and said man that's skinny right there that's skinny right there and when he put a fed up there the fed this is the fed the, the fed let me say something to y'all the feds is a higher rank than a homicide detective. Mm-hmm. A homicide detective don't stalk you. A fed stalk you. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A fed would knew if that was me and any of those surveillance over a homicide detective. Right. You understand what I'm saying, show? Right. My whole thing, a federal agent could not identify me, man. Ain't nobody identify me on this case. Like I said in the beginning, a person that was licensed to carry a guard at a fucking market said the shooter was 180 pounds and dark skin. Jumped in the car by himself. That's what he said the shooter did and was wearing. How to, that's the description he gave of the shooter. Five minutes to eight minutes after the murder had happened. Why well, I got conspiracy to a murder if he's saying the shooter jumped in the car by himself and killed off. Mm. Yeah, man. Crazy. Why I get why I get twenty to forty years for a conspiracy? When he said the shooter hop in the car along and pulled off. Right. I ain't hundred and eighty pounds and I ain't dark skin. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Now the star witness say the shooter was wearing a black hoodie and the hood was on his head. He don't call the she don't call the shooter by name. If you said you never seen me before a day in your life, how was he able to pick me out of a photo right? Let me scratch that. He ain't even sign my picture. If he signed it a statement, why why would he be scared to sign a picture? Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he didn't even sign the picture in a photo right. He never even signed So he picture. never even identified. That's crazy, bro. Oh, murder somebody if he never seen me a day in So life. he went into the, so the witness bowl. That they had went into the interrogation room and he didn't even know if he was a suspect or a witness. <laughs> yeah, he went, he went, yo, listen, he went in there and said, God willing, I get out of God willing, I'm Because he thought they had him, they, he thought they had him for something he did. Exactly, bro. Crazy situation, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, so that, for, that, and, and that's my shit. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I ain't the one that, like, you know. I know his name and all that shit now because I learned this during trial, but I ain't the one that give his name up and none of that shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. yeah, you know I mean, I ain't trying. I don't want nobody trolling him. I don't want them to like try to make the shit more worse than what it is. Trying to say intimidate and witness and where you understand right. what I'm saying? Right. So, so yeah, like, you gonna leave him? Leave him where he at? Yeah. I, mean, I just leave him where he at, man. You but for the for the like, joke, cause the. Uh, my camera overheating and shit. And I wanted to cut off before you. Okay. Before you, uh, I want to ask you one more thing so you could, uh, for the people that want to support you and shit like that. I mean, I know you. You got the. You bought the go to. They bought to ship you out from where you at. So they ain't, we ain't, we don't, you ain't got to give up where you going to yet and all that. But for the people that want to support you, you want to plug your IG that you got. And I mean, if they want to hit you up. You know, um, my whole joint is, you know, I had to make a whole new Instagram. Yeah, new page, so for people that want to support it, I know the new joint and I got, shit. I got hacked so many fucking times. They hacked my joint, they had the 20,000 followers, but fuck it. We, I'm, I just made another one, that shit called Border Boy, Border Boy underscore skinny 29. You know what I mean? That's how I'm rocking this shit. But, you know, I gave my nephew Fadi Goon and my sister all the information to that shit. So at the end of the day, wherever I go at, you know what I mean? I'm gonna make sure y'all follow y'all follow me. You think I'm gonna make sure y'all follow me wherever I go and go out the Lord journey and shit. But like, listen man, I'm not going rot in jail. I'm not. Like, I'm going to return. Trust me, I'm going to return. I'm going to return, man. And I'm not gonna rot in jail. I'm not a nigga that give up. I'm not giving up. You understand what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna get time barred or none of that shit. I got the best appeal lawyer and gonna have the best appeal lawyers 
at the end of the day, I got a sturdy support system, man. And that's how we rock. And until next man, time. Your, hey, this your boy, Atoria Skinny Me, man. Biggie with the radar, man. No rollers and hiders, man. You know, man. I'm rocking with um, Fleet Fame TV, man. Y'all know how we coming, man. Like, it is what it is, man. Nothing more, nothing less, man. We on, we on, man. Fleet Fame TV, man. Number one motherfucking Philly out left for the rappers in the city, man. Let's get it. Yeah, we've been sure. talking about this shit. I mean, we've been in contact. I mean, throughout. I mean, you let me know, like, yeah, I'm going to trial, birth to trial. And I mean, we're going to do it regardless of the outcome. That's what. And you stood on your words, so I got to give you credit on that. He's like, regardless of the outcome, bro. Like, I'm hoping for the best and feeling good. But even if it don't go my way, bro, we still going to do it. And you held on yeah, to your words, bro. And you the first one. You, 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 the first, you the first one that gave me a shot. You, you understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I don't know. Forget that kind of shit. You dig what I'm saying? Show. I promise you, I'll be back. I'm right. going to return, show. I'm going to return. I'll be back. For I'm sure, bro. Term- I'm, I'm, I'm on the black Terminator, nigga. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the black Terminator, man. Nah, real I'm shit. Lord Terminator, willing, man. bro. Everything go how I need to go, bro. Like, Make sure y'all tune in to Fadi Goon, man. Yeah, Fadi shout out to Fadi. I like Fadi. I got to do something with him. I fuck with Fadi. Please Fadi Goon, man. Please tune in to Goon and get his man. Fighting Mirror 220, man. Like you already know the Leaf Wars and everybody else that hate.